girls! Today I want to share with you how I lost my overweight. Uh, before I start, I want to show you a picture before and after. So basically I used to be 110 kilos and now I'm like 69, 70, something like this. Um, I lost 40 kilos which I think is 80 pounds if I'm not mistaken, I'm not really sure. Because here in Egypt we calculate it by kilos, not by pounds, so I'm not really sure. But anyways, let's get to the point. The first question you want to ask yourself, why you want to lose weight? For me it all started like this. I used to be extremely fat for my age and I didn't even care. I had so much self-confidence. I thought that my face looked good so who cares about my body. So one of my biggest reasons, here in Egypt we don't have oversized clothes so I had a very hard time on finding clothes. Especially that I loved fashion and I always loved to wear fashionable stuff. But I never found my size and I had to travel every two or three months to Italy or Germany to find oversized clothes for my age. So I was in high school and I have a sister who's four years older than me and all of a sudden she started dieting and she started going to the gym and she was losing weight like crazy. So I was a little bit jealous. I'm like, if she can do it, I definitely can do it. So I decided to lose weight like her, so I went to a dietitian and I started dieting, but as usual, I didn't lose any weight. Then I went to my sister, what are you doing? I need to do your same like routine because I want to lose weight. So what she used to do is exercising like crazy and eating healthy food. For me, it was very hard. I used to love chocolates like crazy. So what I decided to do, I wasn't really crazy about soda, so I decided to quit soda and start drinking water, just water. I remember back in the days I never used to drink water except if I'm taking a medicine or something. So I stopped sodas, any kind of sodas, even the diet ones, even the low calorie, the zero, anything like this, I quit it and I started to drink water, a lot of water. First of all, water is very good for your hair, for your nails, for your skin, for your body in general. Also it keeps you full for a couple of hours, which is very good. So drink water, water, water if you want to lose weight. Also, I never used to drink tea or green tea or Earl Grey, but actually these are very good for your health. Green tea and Earl Grey increase metabolism, burn the food faster, and also if you have problem with your stomach, it's gonna help it so much, especially if you have colon. Also, I started drinking a lot of milk. Milk is very good for your nails and for your hair, for anything you want it to be stronger. And the calcium in the milk makes your muscles stronger, so you're able to do more stuff. When it comes to eating, I started thinking with my mind. So I replaced fast food with fish, because I really, really love seafood. I would suggest to eat a lot of vegetables, fish, salmon, seafood in general, chicken, meat, stuff like this. I'm not a big fan of fruits, but I take it as juices. I like to mix some cocktails, like I love strawberries, watermelon, um, bananas, apples. I like to mix them, add a little bit of ice and water, and it's amazing. So I decided to go to the gym and start quitting any fast food, any fatty stuff. I remember first I was very happy and very motivated and excited, but after two weeks I started getting a depression. I used to come from the gym and cry to my mom and tell her I'm not going back to the gym, I feel so tired, I don't want to exercise no more. So my mom felt really sorry for me, so she told me why don't I try belly dancing. Mm -hmm. So belly dancing is Egyptian dancing and if you don't know it, check it on YouTube. There's a lot of videos for Dina, she's a belly dancer. Her name is Dina, D-I-N-A, I'm gonna write the name here so you can go check her out. She's the most sexiest, prettiest belly dancer in the entire universe. Right, Dina belly dancing, um, I'm gonna write it right here. So basically she was my biggest inspiration. 
all the Egyptian girls, or I, I think, I'm not sure, but 99% of the Egyptian girls know how to belly dance. And that's like something we're born with. So what I did, I started collecting her uh, videos and buying her DVDs and I started watching her and copying her steps. So the whole point, I started dancing a lot. So back to the story, I quit gym and I started belly dancing. I was happy with belly dancing because it's fun and it's very feminine and sexy and I remember when I was a kid I used to dance everywhere. My mom told me that whenever we go any place I used to go on the table and start dancing. So I think this is something I'm talented in and I started practicing more in it and I love so it. So when I started taking belly dancing as a routine, a daily routine, it basically made me lose weight without even think. Because if you watch belly dancing, you're going to see that every single muscle in your body moves. Even your head, your hands, your legs, your waist, your belly, every part of your body moves. So this helps you so much to sweat and lose weight. So that started to be my daily routine. I quit sodas, I quit fast food, and I started belly dancing. So after four months, I lost 10 kilos, and that was really shock to me, because when you're overweight and you lose from two to four kilos, it looks like 10 kilos. Because the first kilos are water and salt in your body. They're not all fats. So it makes you look as if you're, it's a balloon, and it's... One tip I wanna share with you, uh, you have to know that your eyes eat before your stomach so if you look at a plate and it's organized nicely and there is like green stuff meat or chicken and some rice and it looks nice you're gonna get fuller faster if you have like a mixed ugly look so it's a good idea to make your food look good and colorful and that way your eyes is gonna make you feel full even before you eat and also think about the food you eat before you eat it so it took me a year a year and a half to lose my 40 kilos when i reached my goal and i was satisfied with my weight and my body i didn't stop i'm not gonna lie to you and tell you i'm still dieting or i'm still um in the same routine like the belly dancing stuff but i still belly dance every maybe once in a week twice a week and it just makes my muscles work. Also, I'm trying to eat as healthy as I can. I'm not really good at this. And my motivation is looking good and being an inspiration to other people. One problem you're gonna face if you lose a lot of weight is stretch marks. And actually what really helped me is this Trivectin SD, which is the intensive concentrated for stretch marks and wrinkles. And it says here in the back, direction for use, for stretch marks use, AM and PM on clean skin, massage into target areas for wrinkles, apply all over to clean face in the AM and the PM, gently massage into wrinkle prone areas. I talked about this on one of my favorite videos. Okay, cause I lost a lot, a lot of weight, like 40 kilos. I have a lot of stretch marks here. I don't know if you can see them. I have only here and some on my hips. This is a lifesaver to me. I've went through two of these and this is the third one. I've been using this for the past two months and it's amazing. I basically apply it here and just massage it for a couple of minutes and you're good to go. I apply it in the morning and at night. So I swear by this product, it works so good. I tried a lot of stuff to get rid of my stretch marks. I tried Stretch Redox, looks like this. I tried Refair, which is whitening stretch mark remover. So these are waste of money, didn't do anything to my skin. But this one works very good. I'm not gonna tell you it removes my stretch marks, but it works to like blend the colors of the stretch marks to your normal skin. I don't know, but I think it makes a lot of difference. And it says here you can see the difference starting from two weeks, four weeks, and the final results are after eight weeks. I have a lot of stretch marks. As I said, I have a map in my shoulders, so... I think I'll keep on using it until it disappears, but I'm sure it's not gonna disappear. It's just gonna make it fade a little bit. So I thought I would throw this in here because it works very good and it's a lifesaver to me. And I think it's a little bit expensive, but it's an investment because you never want to walk with stretch marks. So yeah, so this sums all my experience on losing weight. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!